Frozen underneath a pitted and cracked plains on Mars lies a region that holds about as much water as Lake Superior does, the largest of our Great Lakes. Scientists examined part of Mars's utopia region in the mid-northern latitudes with the orbiter's ground-penetrating shallow radar instrument. They analyzed data from more than 600 overhead passes with the onboard radar to reveal a deposit more extensive in area than the state of New Mexico. The deposit ranges in thickness from about 80 meters to 170 meters with a composition that's 50 to 85 percent water ice mixed with dust or larger rocky particles. At this latitude of Mars, about halfway from the equator to the pole, water ice on the surface would sublime and turn into water vapor in the planet's thin dry atmosphere. But the Utopia deposit is shielded from the atmosphere by a soil covering estimated to be about 1 to 10 meters thick. Scientists think that this deposit probably formed as snowfall accumulated into an ice sheet mixed with dust during a period in Mars's history when the planet's axis was much more tilted than it is today. The newly surveyed ice deposit represents less than 1% of all known water ice on Mars. But ice deposits this close to the surface are being considered as a resource for astronauts. Lake Superior isn't the only Canadian connection. The use of the orbiter's instrument that discovered the frozen water was prompted by Gordon Osinski, a scientist at Western University in Ontario. He had been intrigued by the ground surface patterns for years on Mars that looked like scoops of ice cream. In the Canadian Arctic, similar landforms are indicative of ground ice, and it turns out those clues worked. There's still a lot to learn about water on Mars, but this was a very big and very deep step forward. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.